Now to other news, a powerful storm hits the mountains and its impact is felt for days. Residents in one community are now assessing damage to their homes and cleaning up from a severe storm that struck on Tuesday. News 13's Rex Hodge has more from one of the communities hit the hardest. By now, this is a familiar sound in the Lake Santilla community outside Robbinsville. So we saw what looked like a big cloud. But nothing compared to the severe thunderstorm that roared through around dinner time Tuesday night. And the neighbors came by the next day and with their chainsaws, and we all got out there and cleaned everything up. Lake Santilla Mayor Bob Crabtree is a year round resident. He says his house sustained only minor damage, but some of the other 200 houses around the lake weren't so lucky. Wind that felt like a tornado to many toppled trees, many destroying property on land and on water. Things went through the roof and, and all like this. It was a lot of damage down here. And everybody lost power. Eric Haynes with the town's public works says Duke Energy and many other crews got in here quickly. Uh, all those guys were in here yesterday and they all done a phenomenal job getting the electric back to us. And there's just a whole a line of trucks all the way up the highway just coming in to help us. Many of these homes are summer homes. Nobody was hurt, thankful for that. It could have been a lot worse if it would have happened uh, Fourth of July weekend. I'm sure it would have been a lot worse. For now, it's a time to clean up and assess the damage for residents and the mayor says they'll look to the state for some financial help. Then we're going to assess what, how we're going to deal with all of the, uh, the stuff that's taken down and everything like that. And that was Rex Hodge reporting from Graham County. Now, the mayor says there's no word yet on the final damage estimate. He says state representatives will be there tomorrow to figure that out.